costing a whopping $13 million. The budget for the upcoming Festival of Pacific Arts may be running in the red. The original $13 million included a, a large, uh, what's called in-kind or kind of uh, not cash but in-kind services. So that was $6 million and then $7 million cash. Uh, five coming from the uh, government and then $2 million from sponsorships and donations and other fundraisings. While Gov Guam did come up with its $5 million contribution, community donations and sponsorships ran short by nearly $2 million. At a meeting on Monday, FESPAC Organizing Committee Chair Nate DeKnight said he continues to work with sponsors as well as the legislature to address the funding shortage. Meanwhile, another budget-related issue came forth at the meeting. Senator Roy Respicio. It was discovered that uh, a lot of the procurement, which is supposed to be, in my opinion, go through the procurement law, a lot of that um, procurement process is being uh, delegated to the event specialist. So, for example, uh, there's a purchase of $105,000 for futons, and that represents 50% of what the cost is for that item. Senator Espicio uh, is concerned the that big ticket items are being purchased through the event specialist without going through government procurement. And what I want to make sure is that this government always provides a level playing field for any vendor, because right now, I question whether or not the, just the vendor alone on who got that um, award for the futons, right? If, that's, if 105000 represents 50% of the purchase, then you're talking about $210,000 worth of futons. And so was there an, an equal opportunity for other vendors to say that they can, they can provide those same uh, supplies? And Tonight said the specialist services uh, were contracted ago, through so a request so for proposal process and the committee has invited representatives from the Office of the Public Auditor to ensure they're following the law. We were happy to have their uh, OPA staff there at today's meeting as well just to observe and make sure everything is going correct and so they can monitor as well. Senator Respicio has asked for a formal letter from a chief procurement officer verifying that existing processes follow Guam law especially with FESPAC only 69 days away. You know, obviously it takes a lot of, uh, of a huge investment to host this kind of major event, so uh, there's no choice. We'll have to be ready and we're all going to work together to make sure it gets done. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.